you doing, little guy? You just you just hanging out here, sitting down, doing your your thing, whatever it is Rexes do, under trees on barren land. Yeah. Cool. Great talk, man. You're very vocal. I appreciate that. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the Isle. I am the friendly little Albertosaurus. Did I say that right? I feel like I didn't say that right. I wanted to say Acro. Acrocanthosaurus, but... No. Oh. Anyways, guys, there was some announcements made in the Isle Discord server, and surprisingly enough, the hypo bug hasn't been patched yet. Yeah, that's... That's what I was thinking. I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> that guy's a... <laughs> oh, okay. You're one of those people. I see how it is. But yeah, the bug hasn't been patched yet. Amazingly. And I don't know why. But I I, I guess they have some kind of master plan in place. They're probably going to put on... In... <laughs> this guy's the biggest... I can't say it because I don't want to get demonetized, but... Yeah, yeah, anyways. Yeah, they haven't patched it. I assume it's because of the fact that they've been working on the new trike and the parasaur on top of that. And actually, in the announcement section, they released that there's two brand new life cycles coming to the game for those... Cr I'm, I'm never going to get through what I'm trying to tell you guys. I keep on seeing funny and weird stuff. What the hell are you doing? All right. They're doing stuff with life cycles. So... I assume that's why the update isn't out yet for fixing this bug and anything that might have been happening with that. They're trying to fix, well, trying to do the life cycle stuff. Flames get away from me. And what I mean by that is they released pictures, I'm going to show you right now, of the Triceratops that has a life cycle. It has a juvenile, a baby, and an adult form. Wait, juvenile, sub-adult, adult, baby, juvenile, sub-adult, adult form. There we go. Has those forms. And on top of that, you also got the Parasaur, but we were teased with this little screenshot right here of a Hyporex trying to attack a mother trike and the children running away, which I thought was actually kind of neat, in my opinion. I thought it was pretty sweet to see. You know the Hyporex wins instantly, but, I mean, it's always nice to see a parent try to save the kids. The kids aren't going to survive. So, I hope that answers your question. But, then we have the Parasaur. Now, the Parasaur looks like it's almost done. Don't. You passed by the Rex is friendly. You, 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 you would. You would. You would. You were all friendly to the Rexes too. That's excessively mean. That's getting weird. We're not doing that. So yeah, more or less, they've got those as well. And the Parasaur, you've, you've already heard the calls. You've already seen the animations, how this thing moves. It, it shares animations with the, um, with the Shant. And actually, we saw the bipedal stance for the Shant. A while ago and I believe that that's actually the movement they're gonna be using for the para I know it was on uh, I think it was on primordial tyrants we saw the chance alternative walk yeah no no you don't know what the last spinal tried to do to my body okay so you don't get to mess with me right now you don't get to stay close to is that thing what are you doing, Mr. Utah? I, I like that it still has the animation. Oh, and he fell down. Oh, and he just... Oh! Oh, you almost got stomped. I almost got... Oh, I almost got hit. I'm gonna run up here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just try and stay away from everything. I could have bit you, Mr. Maya, if I wanted... Oh, Stego. Real quick, I just want to get out of the gameplay because we have a transmission I was going to actually cover that I forgot all about. And it says that something colossal comes this way from the Olympus transmitter. Now this transmitter, this Twitter page for the transmitter, hasn't been active in a while. And now all of a sudden we had this come up. I don't know what that means, something colossal comes this way. Now when I think colossal, I think the Colossus. But I, I haven't heard anything about the Colossus. I haven't seen anything about the Colossus. Don hasn't mentioned the Colossus to me in months and months and months and months. And I don't even know if Don's ever mentioned the Colossus to me, which Don is Dondi, the creator of the game. So I, th I think he would know if there was a Colossal or Colossus, whatever you want to call it, the Hypo Colossus, that thing, yeah. But that was a tweet that was put out. I want you to go over there, check that out for yourself. And let me know what you think. Some of these comments that are coming down not many people understand what it is. Like, this guy right here has it. Ryan, you got it right here. You get it. The hyper, hyper endocrine colossus. But, like, I don't think it's that. I think this is more so 
geared towards the Parasaur or maybe the new trike because the new trike is looking absolutely amazing as you guys had seen earlier in this video i don't know if that's a, a teaser because they're working on the colossus that could be it too i don't know i you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below now i also want to move into two things with you guys real quick one is the neurospino and two is going to be a hypodial. Now, the the neurospinal that we have right here, it's not the most detailed in the world, but I love the art style. This this is created by the artist on my Discord server called Tapwing. Um, Tapwing is actually currently making a project for me too for Subnautica, and it's going to be amazing. But this, I believe, is called the failed neurotonic spino or something like that. I think the idea behind the failed neurospino is more or less the prototypes of the game storyline. When you think about it, when you think about it, a Neurospino would have gone through trial and error when they were trying to create this thing, if this is a created thing in a lab, which most likely it is, guys. Come on, this doesn't happen in nature. However, for them to create something like this in a lab, they would have had failed specimens. They would have had numerous Spinos that were infected with this gene mutation die, or just not, I guess... That's the word I'm looking for. I guess not like come out to the standard that they have. Like this one right here, for instance, its jaw is just broken. Its its top jaw is deformed. This one right here, you can see it has much larger teeth than normal, but maybe it doesn't have the correct abilities or maybe it's paw right here, or paw, it's claws missing or something like that. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what the problem is with it. This one right here, you can see the fin and some of the barbs are a little bit weird. It looks like it didn't mutate all the way, so it's kind of like not completely formed in a sense but i think this one here shows up the most where the top end of the jaw is just deformed entirely like it's it's i don't see how this thing would live a life with its jaw broken like this and then its tongue just coming up like it's literally coming right back to the bridge of its of its face more or less so it would make sense in a way in the storyline for a failed neurotonic spino specimen to be a thing like, they had to have failures before they made it to a successful mutation of the genes and gene sequencing, all that stuff. Makes sense to me. I want to know what you guys think, though, in the comments section down below. And I know this isn't official, but I love the idea of the storyline with the Isle. And this plays perfectly into it because, like, we hear of the Neurospino, the Hyporex, the Tissorex and stuff like that. But we don't really know, like, what the storyline would have been for these things to come up to it. Well, obviously, for them to create these things, they had to practice because they wouldn't have gotten it right the first try. So these things would have had horrible mutations. Maybe the Hyporex itself only had half the armor and it was horribly disfigured or something like that. Like, this is some advanced stuff. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you have any ideas for, like, maybe what would have happened with the Tisso and the Hypos, what would have happened there? And finally, once again, from Tapwing, we have a Hypo Dilo. Now, this is a concept you guys remember a long time ago. I used to show you guys a lot of the concepts Emily Stepp used to make for her ideas on these hypo creatures. And then hopefully the devs see these videos or they see these ideas for hypo creatures. And then they move forward with maybe introducing a new hypo creature or taking some inspiration, for instance. Like a hypo dial would be kind of cool. Personally, for me, I would love to see a hypo strain of nearly every dinosaur that is in its end tier. So Hypo Giga obviously has it. Rex Spino, maybe possibly a Hypo Acro. Uh, Aloe would be kind of cool to see what some special abilities. And like these gene mutations would go up in more power as things go on. But the Hypo Dilo itself, you can see it'll have different types of... Wait, what is this? Is this a Serato? I don't know what kind of dinosaurs this is. But you can see, obviously, has some extra armor plating all around it. Uh, we know that the Dilo itself, it's supposed to have some kind of debuff when it bites you, where it makes you bleed more and your resistance goes down. Well, this one seems to have, like, some substance it shoots out at you. Yeah, it looks like a substance. Doesn't look like it's tongue, but maybe... No, I don't... It looks like a substance it, it spits out at you. I don't think its tongue wraps around you like that, but it'd be kind of cool if it did. Then it drags you back in, obviously. Uh, 
Outward spray. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you can see right there has different sprays. That's pretty cool. They actually have some notes here. Uh, not being able to compete against some large fauna of the isle, this hyperendocrine is adapted to hunting down the small and agile within the confines of dense wood. Specialized glands lining the edges of its mouth fire streams of glue-like strands and a netted spray, slowing if not holding small prey down completely. In a pinch, it'll grapple with larger species, attempting to use its weight and armor to knock down or fend off opponents. If you seek shelter in the woods, beware. And then obviously this plays in perfectly because hypo creatures can't chase you in the woods. Well, this time he, this, this guy's small compared to the other hypos, so he could hunt you down in the woods. You wouldn't be safe in the woods. There would be no such thing as a safe space in the woods. So I'm sorry, anyone that might be a super feminist or SJW, you don't get your safe space in the aisle. So that brings us back to being in the aisle again. We unfortunately died because I tabbed out while I was sitting down and it was just a bad time all around. What's up with all the Russian names? I'm seeing so many Russian names. This guy is bad. He, I bet, I bet you, I bet you five bucks. He will hit me if I go near him. Hit me. Come on. Do it. Or you're going to make me lose, like, a lot of money because if I got to pay you guys all five bucks, that'd be bad. Look at this guy. He's, he's, look, he's, 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 oh, yeah, told you. I told you. <laughs> oh, no, I clicked outside of my game. So that's it for all the stuff I wanted to show you guys for now on the aisle. Again, Hypo uh, Dilo isn't an official thing. But I show you guys these because the community itself has an impact on how the game is created, as you guys saw with the Magnarex coming into the game. That was a community chosen creature. Now, maybe in the future, the devs will see this concept from Tapwing and be like, that's pretty good. And, and they'll throw it into the game or do something similar to it, which I think would be really cool to see. As far as the families and the life cycles of these creatures for the Trike and the Parasaur. I'm not sure how those are going to be implemented or how those are going to play out. I assume just like any other creatures, you grow up through them. And then obviously the failed Neurotonic Spino specimens and stuff. That's pretty cool too. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of curious. This is completely off topic, but like I, I talk to you guys anyways. Well, technically I'm talking to myself while I talk to you guys, but I know in the near future you'll make a comment. Um, I recorded Sea of Thieves yesterday, and I don't know if any of you guys like the game or not. I'm sure some of you do, but I recorded the game yesterday and it was actually kind of cool because like we got to see the Kraken and how it operates and this giant hor horrific monster basically. I wonder what you guys think about that game, if you actually enjoyed it or not, if you actually watched that video or maybe you should check out the video once you finish here because I think you might actually enjoy the gameplay. I've never freaked out so bad an entire, like I, I've, I've never lost it as bad as I lost it on video a little while ago actually playing that game in that, uh, in that recording I uploaded because I saw Great White Shark. And I don't like the ocean, so that, yeah, that, that was probably the worst I've ever freaked out. I didn't even make a coherent sentence. I kind of just lost it. It's okay, little guy. You calm down. All right, let's, let's just, let's just kill people and, and do stuff. I got a freaking... <laughs> I just bit a Uteraptor that was biting my ankles. And I, <laughs> he died. And I avoided a Rex that's trying to chase me down. Hell yeah. Wolf Jai, I wonder if Ant still offers car insurance. I don't offer car insurance. Mm, technically, that was the old saying, so. Good sir, can I interest you in some car insurance? God, I hate myself. Yeah, that Rex is after me too, just so you know, the one behind me. I'm just gonna venture off. Yeah, he's friendly calling, but I guarantee you he will bite. <laughs> I don't trust the Rex. I got a Adam the pigeon. What the hell? <laughs> I got him. Did you break his leg? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for him now, though. Maybe he isn't after me, and he just looks like he is because he's, or she, whoever he. I think it's a he because it's a guy in the picture that I see. Though maybe he's just trying to be friendly. Oh, he, he's trying to bite the camera. <laughs> you can't. No, okay. Maybe he's just like. Just, oh, oh, okay. It's the same maybe he's just trying to be friendly. No, don't walk off the. Oh. You <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's just falling down there. How far down do they go before you can't see them anymore? Oh my god. He's like turning into a little meteor speck. Look at him going all the way down. Holy shit. Look at him. He's all the way down there. He's like one pixel on my screen now. I can barely see him. I can't see him anymore. Wow. 
That's awkward. I thought you were to the right of me and I saw a fully grown Rex. It's still there, there's a little speck. Wait, can you see him? I can't see him anymore. I don't, like, he's nowhere there. The frick! Who is Wolf Guy? Wolfie the Mighty. Oh, they're. Oh my god, look at all the people that just attacked yeah. him. Oh my god, oh, no, Adam the Pigeon, no! No, not He the got pigeon. killed by an oversized pigeon with claws. Is this dry over? You freaking get the hell away from me! Go! You're you're like a tick. Oh. Don't want to deal with that, Mister Mister Dryo. Can you not? Please and thank you. Can you help me? I'm I'm being I'm being molested by a Dryo right now, and it's not a fun time. Bite him! Bite him! Okay. You missed you him. Just, uh, I was gonna bite your tail. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the Giga cr uh, crouching behind you. I don't, I don't like these these stegos walking next to me because it did bow. Okay. Run, Mr. Carno, run! What is that? Oh my God! Yeah, like where, where the hell are they all coming from? <laughs> they just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, did Adam just slap the Spino with his tail? I think so. Slap. Adam, yeah, he straight up slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you rebel, you. Uh-oh. Is this guy's... This, no, this is this is the Rex. Oh, uh, I knew it! I knew it! You were gonna try and bite me as a Rex! Come here. Come here. The tables have turned. Bridge. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This, this tussle. I don't even want to fight him because he's a Utah. Like, it's not even fair. Wolfie's back! Oh, no! Who's back? Well, be behind me. Yeah, I could bite this guy right now if I wanted to. Oh, oh, get him! Ah! Oh. Aurora's on it. Get him! Go! Oh, I just <laughs> stopped him. <laughs> this guy just bit me too. What the hell? The freaking fleas! Okay, Aurora's on it. Our our watchdogs on it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, oh I thought you were gonna get him midair. Yeah, buddy. Did you get him? Yeah. Nice. Here comes another. Same Who's guy. this guy? Dayong. I watched that guy as a stego kill people at spawn. Mm -hmm. he also Wolfie. There's Wolfie. Hi, hi. <laughs> Oh, Aurora, no, no! <laughs> yeah, 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 get them! Get, oh, God, I got hit! <laughs> My game tabbed out, what the hell? <laughs> that was like a botch just Tom right there. Tom Fuckery, what the hell? Oh, God! Oh, the dragon, why are you, why are you here? Oh, I just killed Wolfie at spawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Run instantly! Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a Rex just there biting everyone that spawns in. Oh my god, there's two aloes trying to get Wolfie. <laughs> the jukes! You slapped the wrong way, Adam. God damn it. Oh, geez. <laughs> it looks like they tripped and smacked their skull against the ground and died. What a way to go. Trip and smack your head so hard against the ground you just die. Oh god, watch out. Watch out. I told you to watch out, god damn it. <laughs> Broke my leg. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Lovely weather we're having, eh? Go away. You have a cut. You're bleeding. Why are you bleeding? What happened to you? Were you not watching out? Don't bite me. Don't you. You broke my leg too? What the hell? Oh, god damn it. Nice. <laughs> now we're defenseless. Ow, why would you bite me again? <laughs> What's happening? You're just, you got that bug that I got a while ago. That was freaking hilarious. It was like I was getting sucked into the woods. It was, that was the greatest time I've ever played the aisle. It's m sucking me towards the edge. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that is it for this video for now on the aisle. I'm probably going to die from bleeding out in just a second.
Waiting for it to happen. Gonna happen. Don't want it to awkwardly interrupt my intro. Or outro, not intro. What the hell? Is it gonna happen? Are you still moonwalking? <laughs> Let me know what you think on the failed neuro experiments as well as anything else you've seen in this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy. You guys have been killing it lately. I think we've been averaging like 2,000 likes a video, and that's actually pretty insane. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. <laughs> guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> you just went into my screen. Are hazy. It hasn't helped these hours of pain.